So Storm 4 got announced for the PS4. And the first thing I wanted to say to the Xbox One owners is that don't lose your shit, Jet, all right? Maybe, just maybe, they're keeping the other consoles on the wraps until they have to announce the game at Jump Festa. And you you might get a reveal that it's going to come out on Xbox One. If not, two things might have actually influenced the choice for PS4 exclusivity. One might be that they got bought off by PlayStation to keep it exclusive. Or two, they saw that the Xbox One wasn't selling well in Japan, and it wouldn't be a wise business decision for them to release it on the Xbox One. Because when you're making business decisions, you want to make sure you come out, you know, on the profitable side, I guess. You don't want to break even or be at a loss, clearly. So, personally, man, I I'm super excited about this game because... The potential that a Naruto game has on the current gen consoles is, is I'm not gonna say it's limitless, cause that'd be retarded as fuck. That'd be ignorant as shit for me to say. But it's clearly gonna be amazing. I mean, we're talking about probably you know uh, free roaming, uh, large scale boss battles, and you know just like the Leaf Village, kind of like from Rise of a Ninja. And I'm only mentioning Rise of a Ninja, not Storm One, because of Storm One. The village seemed dead. Like, there wasn't a lot of villagers. There wasn't a lot of shit to do. You know, it just, just seemed like a place for you to run around in. While on Rise of a Ninja, you know, there was quests to do. There was extra shit to do. There was mini games, and, and the village seemed alive. You know what I'm saying? There, there was a lot of villagers on the actual village. Unlike on Storm 1. Now, if we do get all this shit, I'm also hoping that we get a revamped fighting system for you know for the current gen because I, I think that if Saba is too serious about making this game competitive they need to step their shit up with the fighting mechanics and just polish the whole system as a whole okay now I'm super hyped about the game I can't wait I have a PS4 the only thing that tr that's troubling me is that the game is gonna come out in 2015 and mind you like if you think about it this way if the game were to be released on December 2015 that's only a year away so unless they, they cut the developing team in half to make revolution while they were working on, on storm 4 I don't think this game is, is being has been worked on for a, a while or anything you know what I'm saying so that's the only thing that's kind of troubling me I don't know if they've been working on this for a, a while or if they just started with this because one year doesn't seem like a lot of time for them to make the ideal storm game for the current gen. Anyways, guys, I'm out. I still got a cold. And, you know, I only got out of bed just so I can make this commentary. Because, you know, the one thing that got me out of bed was this shit. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.